In their first strike in 15 years, thousands of film and television writers marched in picket lines Tuesday in Hollywood and New York. It's the first day of the Writers Guild strike and we're out here to flex our muscles and let the producers know we're not happy with what they're offering. The walkout sent Hollywood into turmoil, disrupting TV production as the industry wrestles with the shift to streaming. The Writers Guild of America, or WGA, said its leadership unanimously supported a strike after failing to reach an agreement with studios like Netflix and Disney. The future viability of their career is at stake, so I think they're willing to do what it takes. Ellen Stutzman is the chief negotiator for the WGA, a union that represents more than 11,000 writers. We're asking for increases in pay and residuals so that writers can uh, make a career and stay in this profession and live and work in the cities like New York and LA. Uh, we're asking for very basic working condition issues like having a two-step deal or weekly pay for screenwriters to help address the free work pressures that they face when they're writing their scripts. Viewers will first see the strike's impact on late night talk shows, some of which will immediately begin airing reruns. But a prolonged dispute could disrupt fall programming. Conglomerates are under pressure from Wall Street to make their streaming services profitable after pumping billions of dollars into programming to attract subscribers. With the rise of streaming eroding television ad revenue as traditional TV audiences shrink. The Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers, which represents the studios, said it had proposed generous increases in compensation and was willing to increase its offer, but said it objected to other demands. Writers say they have suffered in the streaming TV boom with shorter seasons and smaller residual payments. The WGA also wants safeguards to prevent studios from using AI to generate new scripts from writers' previous work. It's become a very important issue. Uh, I think as <laughs> every day there's some new story about AI and it, there's no doubt that those services will continue to improve. And right now, as some of our members call them, they're plagiarism machines and they have no business in the writing of scripts. The last writer strike in 2007 and 2008 lasted 100 days. The action cost the California economy an estimated $2.1 billion as productions shut down and out-of-work writers, actors and producers cut back spending.